Hey guys, it's Jamie here from 3D Scan Store again, and in part two of this tutorial series, I want to show you how to apply our Scan Store displacement maps using, um, well, simply by sculpting onto the the base mesh. This is a very very simple process and much easier and quicker than the uh, wrap process that we showed in part one. So basically, um, you've got your base mesh, which comes with the displacement maps, which, as we showed in the first part. The displacement maps fit perfectly onto the space mesh so all you really need to do with this is use this as your base for sculpting so you can go in and sort of create your characters using the, um, the base mesh as the basis for your for your sculpt um, I'm not going to pretend I'm a good sculptor I'm really not I'm absolutely terrible so for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to pretend that um, I've actually made this model which I haven't Eric Sos has made it um, but this has been sculpted using our base mesh. So this is the, I'll just go down the levels. This is our base mesh, um, which has been sculpted into this model. Um, so when you've done that, basically you have got a model that already has the UV maps and the textures applied. So we can just switch that on and you can see everything's already there there's no need to wrap anything or you know do any sort of external process so in order to apply the base mesh it's simply a case of just uh, I'll just make a new texture just a blank one just so we can see in the displacement map we've got our displacement which we can just put on just apply and I've got the intensity again set to 0.003 and the model has been subdivided up to seven just to get the most out of it. So we can now just go and make a new layer just before we apply the displacement. And apply the displacement map. There we go. And now we've got all the details on your sculpt already. One of the advantages of doing it this way is you can actually sculpt um, in accordance with some of the details on the actual color map itself so you know if you're making like the you know the sort of the brows here you know you can you can use these like sorry excuse me you can use these lines as reference when you're sculpting obviously on this they're slightly off um, but we can fix those quite easily um, and that's it really it's a very very simple way to work and to apply high levels of detail to your model very very quickly um, I'll just um, Maybe just adjust the layer a little bit, just so it's a little bit less intense. Just put it on 0 0.8. There we go, it's a bit better. And again, I'll just show you it with the, um, the nice satin shader so you can see all the details. And that's it really. I mean, this isn't really much of a, a tutorial. It's just kind of, I just wanted to point out how easy it was to sculpt using our base mesh and apply the, the displacement maps afterwards. And again, any of our displacement maps will work with the, the base mesh. They're all aligned and scaled and you know, they all fit perfectly onto that base. So anything you sculpt will work with any of those displacements. Okay, in the next part, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we can use multiple displacements to create different skin types and blend them together in ZBrush to create different details. So again, if you have any questions, just feel free to email me or Facebook me or leave some comment in the comments below on the blog.